What's your name? Kinley Uher. Where are you from? Tri County. How old are you? I'm 16 and, and I'm a junior. Yeah, you're a junior. And what sports do you play? Um, volleyball, basketball, and I participate in track. Participate in track. Okay. Let's talk about you, because I've been watching a little bit lately, and you're kind of a, how I put it, um, you're kind of out there. <laughs> I've noticed myself. Tell me about your sports. Um, volleyball's uh, kind of been a struggle for me. Um, freshman year, I came into it, and I didn't work on it as much as I did. Or I focused on basketball. Basketball's kind of been my go-to, but my coach never stopped leaving me in volleyball, and so this year I was able to be one of the starting setters on our team, and she kind of never gave up on me and gave up on my dreams. So I kind of have more confidence than I did my freshman year, even though like it's been a struggle, but it's really one of my stronger sports. So You're fun to watch, very fun to watch. <laughs> Thank you. And basketball? Um, yeah, I, it all started back in seventh, second grade with uh, Mr. Simpson. He was new here. And going to his camps, he has taught me the game and love I have for basketball. I really have never like experienced like a connection like with that. Like It's my go-to. When I'm having a bad day, I want to go in the gym and shoot hoops. And it's kind of just uh, relaxing for me. And it's like with the coaches that I've had throughout the years, not just um, Mr. Simpson. He like they have literally taught me everything that I've put on put out on the court, and it's a game where I can go out there and not have to worry about what's going to happen. I can put all that I have and all that I've learned and just play with my teammates, and okay. it's a fun game. So you're the spokesperson for Track County right now. Okay, ready? Okay. Tell me about your school, basically in, in sports in general. Um, uh, we have a strong football team. They struggled the past two years, but they really turned it around this year, and they made it pretty far into the state fine or state um, games. And it was fun to watch them. Um, our girls golf; they are pretty good. We had a competitor go to state this year. Um, let's see, uh, our boys wrestling team. We've got a lot of strong wrestlers, and even freshmen that aren't that good. They'll be good coming up. Um, our girls basketball team, we've struggled a lot, you know, we kind of took a downhill from last year, but it's it's been a fun season with the teammates that we have. Even though we have the record that we have, it doesn't show the chemistry and the love we all have for the sport. Our boys basketball team, they've got some talent. They really show what basketball is, I guess. They uh, lost the starting, or four seniors that were four of their starters, and they really, you know, you really couldn't tell the, what they lost. They um, put put all their heart out there. They have a lot on the bench, and they put out their best 100 percent of the time. Um, now with our boys and girls track team, they're pretty much even. We have um, a tremendous um, uh, boys. We have tremendous athletes in our um, track um, region because. Like it come from sprinting to long distance, there's always competitors that put points on the board. You know, it may just be one or two, but that leads us to multiple plaques and medals up on the on our in our hallways. We're always coming home with some kind of hardware, and it's kind of fun watching everyone compete in track. Great, I do appreciate the interview. Have a good evening. Thank you.